Sports is brought to you by Jim White Honda. I am Jordan Strack. We are over at Fifth Third Field tonight where they have officially opened the gates and they will be allowed to operate at full capacity. Tonight will not be at full capacity, but we're hoping by this weekend crowds will continue to increase. Eric Gibson joining me now. Um, we, we know tonight probably a little modest crowd, but it feels like this is the beginning of something, you know, for you guys here. What has the feeling been like throughout this week, though? It, it's been great preparing. Steps in the right direction is how I keep referring it to. Our staff has done a, a wonderful job. I don't think any of us a couple months ago thought June 8th we would be able to have whatever we can get into the ballpark here. I think we were hoping it was going to be later summer. So to get a jump and, and start to get bigger crowds in, even though we won't be going to sellouts right away, is, is excellent for us and downtown and the organization and the Mud Hens. You guys did so, more, so much work to prepare this place for limited capacity. How did you guys adjust and how much work has been put in to try to adjust the plan now here on the fly? Well, it, it's all been kind of rolling plans based upon levels so we can adjust upward pretty well. Upping employment levels, I'll tell you, we had a, a nice time with the staff taking the ropes off the seats one afternoon <laughs> and, and had a little bit of fun with that. So it's, it's, it, we've been preparing for this. We just got there a little bit quicker than we thought, which we're all thankful for. But we're, we're ready, whether the, the crowd is 4,000 or 8,000, we're gonna be ready for these games moving forward, just right in the heart of the summer when we really start to get busy anyway. So everything's worked out, all things considered. All right, last thing I want to ask you about is the fireworks. The city just announced that there will be fireworks in downtown on July 2nd. You guys are planning to have a fireworks show on the same night here. How is that? How is this whole downtown area going to work on that night? It's it's going to be great. We've done shows uh, here at the Fifth Third Field on the night the city has done their fireworks, so it's been done before. After the last year and a half, it should be a nice big party downtown. Friday the 2nd was the night that worked out just due to logistics and, and all the things that go into the plans, and it worked that way out for the city too. So we're excited. We, we can get back to normal here really quick and have a fun 4th of July weekend. All right, Eric, thanks so much. Thank you. All right, the Mud Hens are back and operating at full capacity. Tickets are on sale. The other thing I wanted to mention, Holy Toledo will be opening back up, and Andy Roman keeps telling me there are these new chicken tenders I have to try. I promised her I would be back here Friday. I just wanted to document this so that when I'm back here on Friday, you all understand why. They, have, they, also, they also have vegetable tenders. Jordan, do we still have him? Oh, boy. No, 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 no. <laughs> Jordan says he's never eaten a vegetable in his, in his entire life. life. Yeah. Little note. Fun facts. <laughs> <laughs> Robert's back.